Hi, I'm Lifeless. And I'm Digging Dave. And we are at the Beehive Coffee House Prime location on East Carson Street in the south side of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes, this place is where it's at because it is a great coffee shop and they also have great alcoholic drinks. Great mixes. Because once again, we're not getting drunk and high. We have better things to do with our time. Yeah. So this is uh, Woodchuck and Chai. And chai tea, yes. Oh, yes. it's so good. It's so good. It's very good. So yeah, uh, East Carson Street, South Side. Keep that in mind if you ever come down to the P-Town, PGH. Um, we've been playing a lot. We've been playing like practically every night. Uh, the first place that we went to Club Cafe, everybody's been telling us about Club Cafe. We haven't played there yet because supposedly there's like a line outside that starts an hour before the show even starts. And if you guys have been looking out your windows lately, you're aware of what's going on outside. That's, that's right. That's right. It's not quite as bad as the Erie. But it's still, we're in like a mountainous region right yes. now. Yeah. Especially in Mount Washington. With a shitty car. Oh my god. Yeah, it's we took, about to die. We took our car to the automotive story for another day. We'll talk about that later. But so far in, in Pittsburgh. First Club Cafe. Then we went to Hambones, which is really sweet. This guy named Chet Vincent. Uh, Chet Vincent and The Big Bend. Check that out online. I think it's thebigbend.net. Excellent band. I highly recommend a song called her daddy knows. I downloaded it. It's got a train whistle in it. Absolutely amazing. But Hambones is really cool. Laid back. Tom Weber, he came into town. He did a show at PACA. He told us about it. So we checked it out. It was a great time. And then Tuesday, Wednesday. What was Wednesday? Uh, Eclipse. Eclipse, yeah. Eclipse. There was a host. Henry was the host. I was really laid back. They had an amazing back patio, which I imagine is incredible in the summertime, but look out your window. And then on Thursday, we played Ava. Yes. Ava Lounge. Yes. Ava was great. Tell them a little bit about Ava. Ava was like your scene, I feel like, a little bit. Ava was like, uh, they had, it was an open mic kind of deal, but the house band was very jazzy. Very laid back. A lot of um, spoken word going on. Uh, Rhymes, MCs, the whole deal is yes. very, very cool. Yes. Um, made, me, made me feel at home, definitely. It was very personable. I felt great. Did we go yeah. out over the weekend, like see a show? I feel like we did. We saw something over the weekend. It was Chet's band. Oh my god, yeah, it was Chet Vincent in the big band. We went to Cativo, and that's where I heard that song with the train whistle, and I went to him afterward. I was like, that song with the train whistle was absolutely incredible. And he gave me the info and everything. Chet Vincent and the big band. Check that out. Totally worth it. Cativo is weird because we went upstairs and we're like, what is this cover band stuff going on? And we found out there was a downstairs. That's where things were happening. There was a few other bands there. Um, Chet Vincent was sort of, um, had a country vibe to it, but not all of it was country. It was good. Check it out. Check it out. It Trust like indie, me. Indie. Let's get that light back on us. Um, yeah, indie country. Indie country. Yes. Yeah. Aren't genres fun? Yeah. <laughs> um, then what else did we do? We played another open mic, didn't we? What was the other one that we played? We played a small one in the coffee shop with... Um, oh, Delaney's. With Delaney's. Deborah Brown. Yeah, Which Deborah you can Brown. check her out on the Facebooks. Just look Deborah Brown. She'll come up as, like, artist musician in the search. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She, she played keyboard while she had someone else playing trombone. And she her. plays guitar. She's like total multi-instrumentalist chick. Yes. Very cool, very cool. And then from there we went, oh, was that Thunderbird night? Oh, the Thunderbird. Oh my god, Thunderbird, Thunderbird. night. Oh. Let me tell you about the Thunderbird. 
jam. Oh my god. Thunderbird <laughs> was, was much like the Roger Montgomery Blues Jams back in the year. Hosted by Craig King of Craig King. The King's Ransom. Tell me that's not cool. Yes, yes. I felt right at home being back He there. did. He did. I did. I, did. Yeah. I was like, I don't play the blues. I don't know what the hell to do. So either way, we went up there and we played Liz's material. Dude came up with a flute. Yes. I jammed. It was crazy. I, I don't really do that. That's not like my style or nothing. But oh, it was so fun. They were so welcoming, so accommodating. Like, come up, jam, rock right. out, do whatever you want. Very cool. And he, he knew Ron Yaros back from Erie. He's oh. been uh, the, the uh, blue circuit with him. We totally ran into uh, Gene Stovall at Ava too. That was that was super cool. Yes, definitely. Gene um, Stovall played my first gig with the Pickles. First gig ever. You yeah. remember the date, don't you? It was April third. Which ironically maybe is potentially the same exact day that I played my first gig at Edinburgh University for the celebration of excellence. Either way, it was days apart. Yeah, which is it's really close. cool. It's close. I mean, how ironic is that? And now we're on tour together. Yeah. I dig it, day. Um, which brings us to, yeah, we checked the Jetta out, and then now we're here, and we're about to go to Garfield Artworks, because we heard that if you were booked at Garfield Artworks, Manny booked it. So we're looking for Manny. We have to find Manny. We have to find Manny. That's, that's the goal right now. So after this, after we enjoy our nice woodchuck chai thing, we're going to go see if we can find Manny at Garfield Artworks. And we're getting on. We're like at seven minutes right now. This is the longest vlog cast ever, so we better sign out pretty quick. Anything to add, my darling? Um, I look forward to talking to you later. Yeah. And we may be in Ohio very, very soon. Oh, one more note. We have an official gig booked at the Bloomfield Bridge Tavern on April... It's in April. I will get the exact date. I'll put it in the details down there or something like that really soon, as soon as I post this. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back here in April for that gig. Hopefully some other gigs, too. We have the 15th, right? February 15th. February, February 15th in Kent, Ohio. We also have another gig booked. I keep saying booked gig or book gig. I don't know. We have another gig in Canton at the Buzz Bin, which I'm super stoked about because I know the tradesmen played there and Marky G had really good things to say about it. It's a very, very professional setup. I'm excited to play that show. So Kent, Canton, Pittsburgh, that's what we got on going on so far. Keep in touch with us. Sign off. Do you remember it? Catch you later. It was stay tuned. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Uh.